you throw women in the deep end and they survive and we know as women life is not easy for any one of us because this virus has changed life for all of us i am a medical scientist i am a virologist and we know as women life is not easy for any one of us but the only thing that matters is perseverance confidence in ourselves and we all know that we are gifted for something i'm going to say share a little story with all of you uh this was 8 march many years ago and we were in the palestinian refugee camps with my students from the higher colleges of technology who are all health science students and the director of unarva and those of you who are not from the arab part of the world maybe you don't know what it stands for is the united nations refugee welfare agency and the director of unarva said i hope this is my last international women's day the the day we stop celebrating that would indicate that women have got their right and 12 years down the line we are still celebrating one day out of 365 celebrating women which i don't understand why this was the first time i took a group of emirati young national students out of the country literally into the you know the equivalent of those of you who come from india is like the dharavi slums the girls who came with me stood in the corridors worked on the uh in the clinics which are very ramshackle because after the nagba in 1948 those camps were supposed to be tented cities and they have become eight story nine story ramshackle buildings so we held camps not just in the clinics but in the old people's home we spoke to women we spoke to old people we did health checkups we did testing so what are the lessons to be learned you throw women in the deep end and they survive and if my uae national girl could do it i think we all can do it and we can see amongst us i think lela is here and our uh, my senior friends are here as well you know that i girls from any part of the world can rise up to the challenge and we i'm not going to list the qualities because you know all the okay so why am i sharing this story because that was 12 years ago and here we are still talking about women empowerment and women now the last year has been the most challenging as far as women are concerned because this virus has changed life for all of us as women we have fared better because men tend to suffer more and they have 20% higher death rate and severe disease as far as compared to the women why does that happen because you know that men are naughty all these bad habits of smoking and shisha my friend is laughing here i can see why he's doing that he knows of course there are biological factors that protect us women by genetics have two x chromosomes and that help us to mount a better immune response it also suppresses inflammation because remember even being pregnant we have to suppress our immunity to be able to accept a foreign fetus so that helped okay what i would also like to jump here is that in the healthcare sector as women health workers we constitute 70% of the women of the workforce and the problem now is that because we have the added stress of looking after our homes looking after the patients in the front line the death rates amongst the female healthcare workers has been substantially higher and there are figures of 69 and 75 and 73% which is really really a cause for worry because if women move out of healthcare the healthcare will collapse we know that it is very very difficult for women to be doing this juggling balancing act and we really need support from the entire society to stand by us and help us at this point in time what is important here is after this year of going through such a difficult tumultuous time pandemic fatigue is setting in we all carry our masks but we you know kind of just let go of it public health and policy measures have to make sure that despite the vaccination drive that i want to credit the uae government for taking care in such a wonderful way i think the current figure today is that 63 out of every 100 resident in uae has been vaccinated and i really want a round of applause for that but remember this comes with a caveat and the caveat is 
that convergence of the vaccine as the number of people in the community get vaccinated the virus is mutating at a very high rate and as of today there are about 6800 something mutations that have already been described the worry is that with increasing immunity in the community we are going to end up with what is called escape mutants you know viruses are very uh, tricky characters. The more pressure you put on them, the more they will change. So please do not lower your public health measures. Just because it's a women's forum, uh, just one word about pregnancy and COVID because I think it affects a lot of young women here and I see lots of them. Remember, if you're pregnant and you get COVID, the disease is much more severe. Uh, the, there is chances of uh, vertical transmission to the fetus. There have been stillbirths reported. And I'm also a pathologist, so if you look at the placenta, there is clear uh, changes in the placenta which reduces the blood flow to the baby. So there are consequences of that. That's it. I will end. Women, why did I put a picture of my girls, my UAE national students in Shatila? If you see that picture, you will see how badly devastated. It was one of the most uh, badly hit uh, Palestinian refugee camps with violence and if my girls I could throw them in the deep end and they would do the country proud and their teachers proud surely we women can rise and handle the COVID. Thank you so much.